Making a YouTube video? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hello, YouTube. Hey, uh, what do you think this jacket's worth? How do I think it's worth? We've had a good... Hey, Triple Fivers. I'm in a quiet place in my living room to talk about this. This is the Haven Rove, which is uh, probably the nicest windbreaker that you could buy on the market. This is a Sierra Designs windbreaker slash rain jacket that I got at Target for 40 bucks. The Haven Rove retails if you buy full price, and they do have frequent sales, but if you were to just go to the website now and buy it, it would be $485. And so what you're effectively getting with this windbreaker is um, maximalist design and materials and minimalist everything else. Minimalist branding, uh, minimalist styling. This is a pretty ubiquitous looking jacket, if you ask me. The jacket does have myriad, very high quality features, cape seams, fully sealed zipper. This is a three layer Gore-Tex construction, completely windproof, very water resistant, highly adjustable hood, really nice metal zippers. And this is made in Canada. So it's a very nice jacket, but the truth is is that unless you are looking for the nicest windbreaker out there, you probably never heard of this brand. And it's um it's an interesting it's an interesting thing, this quiet luxury thing, if you haven't heard of it. The idea of having the the utmost uh, quality, something, you know, arguably as good or even exceeding brands like Arcteryx. This is my kyanite fleece, which I was wearing before this video. Now this is an example of a fleece where there's really spared no expense on design or materials, uh, but you also know that it's a very premium outdoor wear brand. Haven is doing something different where uh, the only branding really is on the tag. There's no exterior branding whatsoever. So to the outside observer, it doesn't look like it's worth that much. And in fact, uh, I found that out by going to Sam's Club uh, where we're gonna go now and you can see what people guess this jacket is worth. So I'm walking into a Sam's Club with my super fancy Haven jacket. And I think I'm gonna ask people what they think it's worth. Now that's the whole idea of quiet luxury, right? Is that you're wearing a premium product that looks like, well, it doesn't look like much. It just looks like a great windbreaker, right? It's not a fancy jacket. So I'm curious if people will respond or not. Uh, what do you think this jacket is worth? $60. $60, awesome, thank you. This is pushing the window of comfort that I have, but I think that's part of the fun, I guess. Hey ma'am, can I ask you a question real quick? I'm just trying to get people guessing how much this jacket costs for a YouTube video. There's no wrong answer. 30 bucks, thank you. Hi, how are you? Making a YouTube video? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hello, YouTube. Hey, uh, what do you think this jacket is worth? How do I think it's worth? Give me about a good 50. All right, that's solid, bro. Really? This freaking jacket's worth $400. Sir, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. What do you think this jacket is worth? No wrong answer. <laughs> uh, 50 bucks. Awesome, thank you very much. Have a good one. He's driving autonomously. I'm scared for a future. Hey guys, I'm making a YouTube video. Can you help me with something? Just uh, guess how much this jacket is worth. There's no wrong answer. $60. $60, great guess. What's your guess? $80. Thank you, you're the closest one so far. Thank you. What do you think this jacket is worth? There's no wrong answer. Uh, like 80 bucks. Sweet. Okay. You're tied with the closest guest so far. How much was it? 400. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Brave new world. Now I'm looking for yeast. I don't normally do the grocery shopping. Uh, there's no doubt that this jacket's really nice. Incredibly comfortable and breathable. 
and uh, discreet, very neutral. What do you think this jacket's worth? There's no wrong answer. That jacket right there? Yeah. Mm, probably $65. $65, yeah. that's a great guess. That's Thank great you so guess. much. No problem. Yeah, how's it going? My Pretty name's good. Andrew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm doing a YouTube video on this jacket. Okay. I'm asking people what do they think it's worth. Just with your ballpark, there's no wrong answer. I don't know. Um, 50? Okay, that's a pretty good guess, thank you. Yeah. Now, the term quiet luxury is a relatively new term. I had never heard the term quiet luxury until 2023. The funny thing about the term quiet luxury is it actually is derived from something that's quite old, namely Thornton Velvin's idea of conspicuous consumption, which was from his book about the luxury class at the turn of the 20th century. Now, what's very interesting about this is, of course, a lot of times wealthy people want to have ostensible uh, 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 displays of wealth, high, expensive looking clothing. Of course, uh, uh, anyone who's following popular culture knows that uh, that it's very um, appealing sometimes to flex a little bit or have something nice. but. Uh, there's also a, a desire, I think, for people to own nice things and not necessarily draw attention to themselves. And so this jacket, for example, in certain communities, if it had a uh, Arcteryx logo on it, for example, uh, it would it would send a completely different message. And so Haven is a brand that's doing something that I think falls into the quiet luxury category uh, in the sense that it's, it's responding to the opposite desire of conspicuous consumption, to have something that's uh, really subtle uh, but it's built to a very high luxury standard. So I'm here with my son Leo as we're wrapping up this video. And as you could see now, one single person was even close to guessing what the Haven robe is worth, which really leads us to the question of, is it worth it? Uh, Leo, what's your initial answer? No. Yeah, definitely not by any conventional standard. That isn't to say that I don't recommend the jacket if you're looking for a very premium uh, windbreaker. It's an absolutely beautiful jacket. Uh, however, I can't understand why you would pay uh, nearly $500 for this jacket. It just seems uh, incredibly expensive for what you're getting. It's um, a beautiful jacket made in Canada. Uh, top quality. I've worn it for almost two months solid this spring, and I think it's uh, held up extremely well, um, but uh, it's uh, above my pay grade to recommend this jacket for sure. All right, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Haven Robe and in general about quiet luxury and uh, if you would ever consider a jacket like this. Just want to mention too before you tune out that I did receive this jacket for review. I'm not receiving any other type of compensation. And as you can see by my conclusions, I'm free to share exactly what I think about this jacket. Thanks again, guys.